what's up you guys it's Rachel again and I have a brand new video I had a friend recently inbox me about the lime crime lipsticks she saw my video and she was very interested she wanted to know all about it she wanted to know more her question was how it's dry she doesn't like dry lips and how it feels and all that and she's like is there anything you can put on top of it so it's not dry so I have three products that I'm going to try on top of the lipstick to see if it makes it better, if it makes it like moisturized or if it just makes it feel like shit or if it falls off, just like melts off like a witch in water. What I'm going, I'm going to go into detail on how it feels without anything on it and it's just the lipstick. So it is dry but it's not dry, dry. So you can do that you can do that but it's like if you do it hard enough it feels like it's going to rip it off like not rip off but like come off roll off as you know if with dry lipsticks um it doesn't feel like a desert it's sort of like moisturizing but dry to the touch at the same time so like your lips don't feel shit they don't feel dry like a desert or cracked or anything they just feel see just they don't feel bad they feel moisturized but dry to the top that's that's all what it feels like well we're gonna try it out this friend emily is a shout out Thank you for this idea and we're going to try it out. So, my three products that I have. I have Colourpop's. It doesn't say it because the label fell off. But I have Colourpop's lipstick. Or a Model Co. Oh, not lipstick, sorry. Lip gloss. Or Model Co. Model Co. Lip gloss. I also have. Sorry, a magpie just walked past my window. I also have a moisturizing lip gloss. It doesn't have much pigment. Add a little bit. But on the lips it's not much pigment. And it's just um, a moisturizing sheer shine. Like renew, like fixes your lips while having like a nice little pink color in the lip. And then the last thing that I'm going to try is the hydrating mist toner from Sue Skin. I'm just going to try this one first and see how it goes. I'm going to close my eyes. Mm. It dries straight away. Like, this skin just basically absorbs it. You can see little drops on my face. All over my face. Yeah, it doesn't go slippery. Comes off a little bit. Now I'm just gonna <laughs> wait for the lips to dry and see if they dry. I'll wait a few minutes and see if it dries. If it's not, I'll wipe it clean, reapply it, and then we'll try the next one. So that one, yeah, it dried after a while, but um, didn't come off, didn't melt off as I thought it was going to be, didn't rub off when I did this. Still feels nice on the lips. Yeah, doesn't feel that bad. I'm going to try this one, the moisturizing, oh, I had it upside down. Moisture, Renew, Sheer and Shine in the shade 200 Glow Word Pink Probably can't see. It's from Rimmel London So we are going to try that one and see how it feels It's coming off It's coming off a little bit and that's what I thought would happen Oh, oh, 
that worked. It feels so good. And the colour did not change. And it just feels good. Really good. Emily, this works. Oh, I thought I got some on my teeth. It feels really good. Mm. I can move it around. Feels really, really good. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to try the lipstick. I'm going to put this one on again after I finish this recording. And then at the end, I'm going to review how this one went throughout the night. I have to go to work and I'll have dinner and I'll have food and water and drinks and See how long it actually lasts on my lips with this on top. And we'll see how this one goes in a second. Just an update. It didn't come off. So I rubbed it off. All that stuff. That, and it's just, just lips now. So it's like a tainted lip colour. So I'm just going to reapply a fresh stuff on and then do the lips lip gloss and we'll see how that goes it's back on I don't know what color what lip gloss to go for I think I'm gonna go with this one so that's dry yep it's dry just making sure so I'm gonna try this one um shit Okay. Kind of changes the colour. I don't think it went on the brush either. Which is good. I'm going to just use this one on top to see if it changes the colour. Okay. And I just put it together by accident. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. This one looks better than this one. Just because it's a metallic lipstick. This is a metallic lip gloss. So it just oomphs. Oomphs. That's not a word. It just gives that oomph. Of that metallic and yeah just feels like lip gloss now on top I'm gonna wipe that one off and see how much there is left as well so it stayed on I put a fresh one on but it got a little messy I had to fix it up with a little bit of concealer as you can see and I just here on the lipstick so, as I said, I'm going to put this one on and see how long it lasts. So, at the end of this video, it will be me later on tonight, so my future, um, and see how long it lasts. I think the lip gloss one will be a bit messy. As you know how lip glosses are, very messy, especially when you're drinking. The glass is, like, messy and white stuff, hate it. But, we're going to do this one, and I will see you in probably a second. You will see me in a second. It will be my future when I make the end of this video. So, as you can see, it hasn't really lasted as long as not having anything on top of the lipstick. I've eaten, drank, had several drinks, ate celery, ate chocolate and all that type of stuff licked my lips a lot and it was quite messy I got lipstick on my teeth which never happens with those lime crimes and oh except that black one when I tried it remember that I also got lipstick under here and it just got messy around here as well so my 
lips are moisturized and they're not as dry but it doesn't last as long as the lime crime so thank you for watching this video and if you like to see any more videos please subscribe to this channel and please give it a thumbs up if you like and thank you for watching